23 ABC's Kelly Johnson has more on the governor's latest goals for California. Well, this is a 2015 Nissan LEAF. It's an all-electric car. It's powered just by batteries. Paul Guype has gone green. Proudly showing off his car, he believes he's part of an increasing trend. The good news is that here in the city of Bakersfield and in Kern County, we're installing more and more of the electric gas stations. If Governor Brown has his way, we would see more electric cars on the streets. Brown's new executive order is that by the year 2030, California's greenhouse gas emissions will be 40% less of what it was in 1990. I've set a very high bar, but it's a bar we must meet. Some believe the focus should be placed elsewhere. Senate Minority Leader Bob Huff said in a release statement that before moving the goalpost, we should be careful about the impact of increased energy costs. But to Paul, he doesn't believe the bar was set high enough. So I've actually disappointed, and I think a lot of people in the Sierra Club are disappointed by Governor Brown's uh, press release because it's not it's not aggressive enough. Compared to some of the other states that have high CO2 emission levels, we rank second behind Texas. Dr. Robert Ningrini of CSU Bakersfield explained how this is ultimately linked to climate change. Now we're changing greenhouse gases. We're increasing levels of CO2, which in turn allows the atmosphere to hold more water vapor. And uh, that is... Uh, causing the temperature of the earth to change artificially. With summer around the corner, Paul offers this final piece of advice to Bakersfield residents to reduce CO2 emissions. One of the things we could do is not turn the thermostat down so much that it's cold in the inside. We just need to take the edge off our hot Bakersfield summers. Kelly Johnson, 23 ABC.